I'm Eli and I'm very happy to be with Elizabeth Stark from Lightning Labs. Hi Elizabeth, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me. Okay, so can you please summarize uh, what is the Lightning Network and how will uh, the people using the Bitcoin Network benefit from this technology? Sure, so what some people don't know is Bitcoin itself has scalability issues as well as pretty much any other currency that's out there in terms of cryptocurrencies. Uh, they're limited by the global network that enables a consensus across the network, such that right now in Bitcoin you can only have about 8 to 10 transactions per second. There's also a 10 minute uh, confirmation time. On average, um, there's a new block in Bitcoin every 10 minutes, so it can take up to 10 minutes to confirm a transaction. And then the fees have gotten higher, and this is a subject of much debate within the community. Um, so it turns out what we're doing with building Lightning Network is building a layer two on top of Bitcoin, Litecoin, and other cryptocurrencies and blockchains that enables instant, high volume, low fee transacting. Um, so this is really great as a user because instead of having to wait 10 minutes, I can instantly send my Bitcoin and then not only do you, you don't have this limit of 10 Bitcoin, or sorry, 10 transactions per second, um, you can send thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions using our technology and our software. And part of the reason why this is needed is because on, say, the Bitcoin blockchain, which is the first global decentralized cryptocurrency and public blockchain, you have nodes, full nodes across the network that are verifying transactions. You have miners that are securing the network. And it turns out when you have a distributed network that has to verify transactions, it's not terribly efficient. This is a known problem within computer science and distributed systems. So what that means is you just... It's difficult to do that many transactions on the base layer of the blockchain. What Lightning enables is you have a local consensus between participants on layer two. It's not a separate currency. It's, it's not what people call, say, a sidechain. It's a term within a, um, this world. It's not a sidechain which has a different asset on it. It uses real transactions from the blockchain um, to enable the kind of instant high volume transacting. So right now, um, the current status is um, our software called LND Lightning Network Daemon um, uses SegWit. SegWit is an upgrade to the Bitcoin protocol that helps to make Lightning possible in its best manner. Uh, SegWit activated just a few weeks ago, which was really exciting. It was this big upgrade to the Bitcoin protocol. And we are now testing our software on um, Bitcoin and Litecoin. And one really cool thing is that not only does Lightning enable you to transact instantly on Bitcoin at high volume and then on Litecoin, but you can also use Lightning to send between the two currencies. We call this a cross-chain atomic swap. I know that's like a lot of jargon. Um, so you, in a decentralized manner, without having to trust a central party, you can then swap currencies. Uh, this is using the cryptography that Lightning uses, and then you just apply it to both blockchains. And one important way that Lightning works is you use the underlying blockchain to secure it. So for example, Bitcoin security, which is the most secure blockchain out there right now, um, guarantees kind of the, the transactions that are occurring on the network. In a way, the blockchain uh, functions as a court or a judge, and then the transactions that happen on Lightning are kind of like contracts. Um, but kind of like when you sign a contract, maybe when you get a new apartment or a new job, not all contracts go to court. Similarly, only you know once in a while would you then clear to the blockchain settle to the blockchain, and the blockchain functions as a settlement mechanism. So I could transact for like a thousand times or ten thousand times on Lightning. Lightning is also peer-to-peer, -peer, so I can transact through multiple parties to get to my destination, and the parties in the middle cannot compromise or steal your funds, and then I can clear to the Bitcoin blockchain. And when should we expect the Lightning network to be on the Bitcoin and the Litecoin uh, blockchain? So that's always the big question in software development. Um, we're currently testing. We have a developer website, uh, dev.lightning.community. Um, we have a Slack channel of people that are testing and developing apps. One other really cool thing about Lightning is it's actually really hard to build applications for Bitcoin on the base layer. It's like clunky and it's, it's just hard. Um, we have a really good API with Lightning that makes it far easier. And you can also have instant high volume transacting, which is far more useful for a lot of apps that people want to build. Uh, with, say, payments for machine-to-machine, -machine, or pay as you browse content, or energy micropayments, or all sorts of interesting use cases. Um, so it's kind of like it'll be ready when it's ready, but the more people that can contribute and help test, um, you know, the better off we'll be. And so we're going to release a beta 
um, when it's ready. And that will not be the final version. That's still going okay. to be more, you know, we call it beta, more of a testing software. Um, but it'll operate with real Bitcoin and real Litecoin. And then once that's tested and, and more, you know, we know that there are fewer bugs, um, we'll release a final version. So as I, as I understood, there is today an alpha for the Litecoin. It's both for, so in our software, LND, we have support for both Bitcoin and Litecoin. It's the same software. Okay. It just has both support for Bitcoin and Litecoin. Okay. But Because the, Litecoin is also very similar to Bitcoin, so it's easy. To, so we should be waiting for the Lightning network to be implemented on both blockchain, Litecoin and Bitcoin to be uh, able for users to swap between Litecoin or Bitcoin. Yeah, I mean, as I said, it's already been implemented. It's just still being tested. Um, so I think, you know, we'll see the first swap between currencies sometime soon, but that's Uh, a really cool area that you know we're still exploring and building out for. And for the people that are that are interested in this uh, protocol that you are building now, how the how how they can follow you? Yeah. So um, for Lightning Labs, which is my company, we're building our L and D implementation of the Lightning Network. Uh, Twitter is a good way. Um, we're twitter.com/lightning. L i g h t n i n g. Um, there's also our developer website. Um, so we have uh, http. Uh, colon double backslash uh, lightning.community and also dev, D-E-V dot lightning dot community. And they can also join our Slack, help test, help build applications. We have API documentation. We have a tutorial. And we also have an app coming soon. So for people that don't want to go to the command line, uh, they can check out the app that will help users uh, send and receive. And we've also seen a dozen or more uh, different apps that, that other developers have built. Um, there's one called Zap by a guy who's here in Paris with us named Jack Mullers. Uh, who built a front end for LND, and I, I think we'll only see more. In all cases, I'll be putting all those uh, links in the comment down below. Thank you a lot for being here a Thanks. little bit. Thanks for having me. Okay.